It's been nearly two years since I've been documenting the return of Loke Lack in Monster Hunter Tri, and subsequently the introduction of online play. My first ever video on this channel was actually about Lokalak being accessible again, and to my surprise, thousands of people were not only excited to see Lokalak return, but also willing to go over their touching stories and memories they made while playing Monster Hunter Tri online many years ago. On April 30th in the year 2013, Tri's servers were shut down, never to be reopened officially again. There was a time where people gave up on seeing the servers come back to life, and who could blame them? Reverse engineering a server to have hundreds of people play on it was a monumental task. But after 10 years since the online servers were officially shut down by Capcom, I'm extremely happy to announce that the Monster Hunter Tries private server is available to the public with its open beta. This means you can enter Loklak and play online on Monster Hunter Try wherever, whenever, and it's glorious. This is my original save file from way back in 2010, on my Wii from that time connecting to the current private server. If you still got your old save file kicking, you can resume where you left off all those years ago. You can play it this way, you can play and connect through your Wii U, or on any device that can run Dolphin, so your phone, tablet, even a Steam Deck, and most importantly, everyone can play together on a very stable server the dev team worked tirelessly to develop. Special thanks to the MH3SB team, Z Spyro, Unusual Z, Sepalani, and of course to all the community members for making this dream become a reality. I'm so excited to show you guys what's in store with this open beta. In this video, I'm going to go over the features that are available to the MH3SP server, as well as a quick and easy tutorial on how to get it working for yourself. It feels so good to finally be able to say, welcome back to Loklak. Let's go over the features available to the Monster Hunter private server. Once everything is set up, you simply have to enter the city to get yourself to Loke Lack. We're greeted with a server message from the MH3SP team. Here you can select the server you want to enter. Let's head to the open server and enter City Gate 1. In this area of the city, you can have conversations with up to 100 people. You can now also do a gate search to see who exactly is in the city gate you're in and DM them if you wish. By speaking to the city greeter, you can see another message from the MH3SP dev team. This will update with news in the future, I'm sure. He'll also let you know what shops are on sale, as well as what event and arena quests are currently available. If you head over to the group board, you can even search for lobbies that are made that match the criteria you need within the city gate. The NPC next to that can help you find lobbies that are focusing on arena quests. Right now, there doesn't seem to be anyone doing that, but it's only a matter of time before people get into the arena. Heading forward, you can select which specific city you want to join. The max capacity per city in Monster Hunter Tri in the West is four people. All the NPCs and shops you may have been familiar with in the past are open and selling everything you need, whether it's getting some items for hunting, using NPCs to craft for you, or creating furnishings for your house. Speaking of your house, you can get a house in this game depending on your hunter rank. There are three wonderfully designed houses to go through as you rank up, and you're able to invite whomever you'd like to hang out with in your home. The friends list system is working really well in the open beta. Feel free to add whoever you want to your friends list to DM them and eventually warp to them. That feature is still under construction during the beta at the time of this video. You can also add people to your block list if they're annoying you. You can attach a USB keyboard to type with anyone in Monster Hunter Tri, and you can even use the Wii Speak, which only has a support for a handful of games, and Monster Hunter Tri is one of them. Hello? I hear you! <laughs> Oh my it's god. so bad! <laughs> it's awful! It really does sound this bad, so use it at your own discretion. You can turn off hearing we speak, so don't worry about listening to the sounds of the damned. Also, the profanity filter that used to exist in the original game has been changed to a much more lenient one that won't cause mass amounts of frustration. You can change your title and write a bio for yourself as well, and lastly, change your status indicator next to your name. The server has a working day and night cycle. Depending on it being day or night, it will affect what time of day it is on the quests you embark on. If it's night in Loklak, it'll be nighttime in the deserted island. Did you guys know you could fight Gen Moring during nighttime in Loklak? Speaking of Gen Morin, the server has scheduled sandstorms along with different weather. When the sandstorms happen, it's the only time you could face the high rank version of this colossal beast, and it's a fantastic hunt, I might add. Loklak has a great variety of music that is always changing, coupled with all the things that are dynamic within Loklak, hour to hour and day by day, it truly is a city that feels alive, and even more so with all the people currently online in the open beta. Seriously, it's so cool to see everyone having so much fun with this game again. Back to the features, you can eat wherever you'd like in the many tables, as well as mooch meals or have it all be put on your tab by using a voucher. But after a nice meal, surely that would put you in a mood to go on quests. All main local act quests are here, working and functional. You'll be able to climb up the ranks and fight Alatrion no problem. 
Event and arena quests are working within the private server. There's still more to be added, but there's a healthy list of fun events and arena quests to keep you busy for months to come. You should definitely look forward to doing these quests. And those are most of the features. There's a couple things I didn't mention. Consider it a little incentive for you to check out the server. Now keep in mind that the server is still in open beta, so there might be glitches here and there. For example, the arm wrestling at the time of this video still doesn't work fully. More content needs to be added in regards to the event quest, and minor features still need to be implemented. That being said, the server is very stable, and has an incredible amount of content to go through. And it'll only get more polished as time passes, so do not fret. I'm going to go over how to set up online play for Monster Hunter Try now, and it's pretty simple for most methods. If you want a more in-depth look into how to do it, and if the links are broken in the description over time, check out the Monster Hunter Try private server Discord, which will be in the description too. I'll keep an eye on that link not breaking. I'm going to preface by saying if you don't have a copy of the ISO for certain methods, either rip your own from a disc or use Google. I'm sure you guys are smart enough to find what you need to find, but please I'm asking you guys not to ask for it in the Discord because discussion of piracy is against their rules for many good reasons, so please be mindful of that. So if you want to play on Dolphin on any device that supports it, all you need is your Dolphin being version 5.0, 17269 or higher. So just grab the latest version if that's easier. Make sure your Monster Hunter Try ISO is added to your Dolphin library so it shows up here. Download the Revolution patch and extract it. You can find it in my description and in the Discord. Right click Monster Hunter Try and click Start with Revolution Patches. It'll open up a window. You just have to click Open Revolution XML, double click the MH3SP file you got from extracting the revolution.rar, keep the patch server enabled, save the preset as MH3SP server, you will now see a game called MH3SP server pop up on your games list. Now all you need to do is double click that to start up Try from now on and you will always be able to connect to the private server. It's that simple. Just head to the city whenever you're ready. Again, you can do this with any device that can run Dolphin and crossplay with everyone on the server. It's pretty sick. Now let's get into how to get it set up on a physical Wii with a real disc. So if chances are you still have your old setup from way back then, you're good to go. You just have to have a soft modded Wii. Now that may sound scary, but it's simple to set up. I'm not going to go over all that in this video though, but I've linked a helpful video to soft mod your Wii if you haven't done that yet from someone more knowledgeable on the topic. The Wii needs to be soft modded because otherwise we wouldn't be able to connect to a private server. So assuming your Wii is soft modded, you just extract the revolution folder that I've provided in the description onto the root of your SD card. You should now see it on your Wii menu and or the homebrew launcher. You open up Revolution. There's going to be some options here. Don't change any of them. Just leave them be. Launch the game through Revolution and you're good to go. You should be able to enter the city with no issues. So basically run Revolution when you want to connect online with Try and you're set. Just make sure your disk of Monster Hunter Try is inserted into your Wii. For Wii U, it's a similar method. You run VWii, open up Revolution on Homebrew, and boot up with the same files. Running through a physical Wii and a USB loader instead of a disk is a bit more complicated since it involves patching the ISO first. For this method, you'll have to check the description for the step-by-step -step instructions. Obviously, I could be more thorough with these methods, but at least you guys have a good understanding now on how to get it set up on the most common methods. If you have any questions, you've run into problems, or if any of the links are provided in the description stop working, please visit the Discord for the private server. With that all out of the way, you should be able to enter low clack and play online in the open beta. It feels incredible to finally say that the Monster Hunter Tri servers are public and playable by everyone. It really does feel like a dream come true. Looking back all those years ago, hoping for a way for this to become a reality, and now finally being able to play such an incredible game in the way it was meant to be played, it feels surreal. Hunting with everyone and goofing off has been some of the most fun I've had in a really long time. I'm so excited for people to be back online again, and to also have new faces join the community as well. This is a great time for newcomers to try out Monster Hunter Try and get the full experience. Now is the time to celebrate and rejoice at such a monumental victory for Monster Hunter Try. This is a moment people have been waiting a decade for. It makes me really happy to say, for real this time, Loklak has become eternal. So if you guys don't mind, let's go play some Try.